on John Irving Kennedy. Uh, myself, I'd never heard of him. I mean, I know baseball coming and going. Senator Hill and I, we'd met, and he knew I'm writing a book as we speak on John Henry Lloyd, the great Negro Leaguer who was born in Palaka, but he was raised right here in Jacksonville. And uh, we had talked about that, and, and the John Irving Kennedy, the John Henry Lloyd must have crossed wires a little bit. He wrote, and he said, Wes, my man, you guy's laying out there without a marker. And I said, what are you talking about? I've been in his grave in Atlantic City. He's got a marker. And he goes, no, no. And then that's when we understood, you know, we came to an understanding of who we were talking about. So I, I did a little research. I've gotten to know uh, John Irving Kennedy's uh, family a little bit, and particularly his daughter, Tazina, talking to her on the phone. And we've had some last-minute snags and scares with this. And are we going to get the right signatures? Are we going to get it in the ground on time? Wes, what's going on with that? But everything came together. Okay, the Phillies are here, the former Negro Leaguers are here, which I mean, I'm just I'm in awe of you guys. And, and we got a family, we got friends, and I think it's just a great day. So uh, again, it's been my pleasure to be involved with this. I thank you very much for coming out and recognizing this, this historic figure. This guy comes along and he's the first player for one of the last teams to desegregate. I mean, there, there's some history here. And he, he wasn't there long. He was injured, he was sent back down to b-ball, something that was suspect. Because, I mean, i got to ask you, a white shortstop who's in the start line and gets hurt, he doesn't get shipped out to B-ball, okay? But that said, that's exactly what happened. They replaced him. But he, he made his mark. He breathed the air. He was in the major leagues at a time when it was a very difficult thing to, to achieve. And for that, he certainly de deserves our admiration, uh, our respect, and, uh, you know, the fact that we honor him here today. i tell you how honored I am to be here today with B. That's more. I am so honored to be here. Is, uh, when I first read the article, I grabbed the newspaper. I went right to Brett's house. I went right to his wife. I said, we got to do something. Thank goodness that all this came together because it was so hard to put it all together with the Phillies because, like you said, we were in the World Series. Getting everybody together from Jacksonville to L.A. to Tampa to back to Jacksonville. I'm in everybody's ear. We need to do something. This needs to get done. I, I want to do something so bad because he's in my hometown where my, where my family grew up. And being a baseball guy, it was so great to me. And knowing how the Phillies had been, whether John was the last guy they signed, one of the Phillies signed, I have to tell you that the Philly is a tremendous family. So to be here today, to bring that enthusiasm with me today, I want to present to you with a jersey of John's number eight from the Philadelphia Phillies and tell you welcome to the family. Thank you. And always remember, you're a Philly. For life. Not one of these Tampa Bay guys. You're a Philly for life, okay? Um, this has been something that has been something that I have wanted to do but have not been able to do. And I want to thank Senator Tony Hill, um, Mr. West, uh, Marion Graham, uh, Mr. Scott, and everybody who's come out today and who's had a part in making this happen for my dad. Thank you.